Hi, in this screencast I would like to show you how to automatically deploy an ASP.NET Core application with Team Services to a Linux machine. Before we dive in, uh, let's see what we can achieve with such a pipeline. So let's see what, what the purpose is here. So here we have the production website. As you see, this is the, the production. And let's say that we want to change this text a little bit. So we go into the source code. We add a little bit to it and let's commit this now and let's push this. Now, one thing I commit right now to the master, normally, of course, it's better to use a branch and then move everything back to the, to the master once you are finished. But um, to make this quick, uh, now I commit to the, to the master um, and this basically triggers the pipeline. So the rule is once I commit to the master, that triggers the pipeline. Obviously, you can configure that so that that can be changed. But in my case, I always um, start the pipeline uh, once I commit to the master. So uh, what is the pipeline which is started now? Um, I created a, a small uh, PDF on this. So what happens now is that uh, from my Mac, I committed uh, with Git and uh, this basically triggers a, a build in VSTS, which means it does a .NET restore, it does a .NET publish and it basically creates a zip file. And once the build is finished and once it's successful, it automatically triggers a release and that basically um, installs an SSH keys because um, the deployment machine is uh, a Linux machine and I can only log in with SSH. So the first step of the release is to install the SSH case on, on a uh, release agent and then copy the, the zip file from the from VSDS basically to the deployment machine. And then um, I have a deployment script, which is basically a bash script and that uh, unzips the, the zip file which contains the application and it basically uh, copies all the files to a location where, where the application lives, it, it restarts the application um, and then it uh, removes the zip file and everything which is not needed afterward. Uh, but we will uh, take a look at that. So. So what uh, happens right now is that this pipeline is running and we can even take a look at that. Um, so here we are in VSTS and that's the build. It's right now it's in progress. And once this is finished, then it will trigger a release and without uh, me doing anything, it will basically deploy the application. So let's wait a little bit and then we will see the change. So as you see, I got an email, the build is finished and that will um, trigger a release, which is the second step. So basically copying everything and stuff like that. This is in progress right now. And once that's finished, then we will see the changes on the production website. Yep, as you see, the changes are there without me doing anything. So I basically just committed. Uh, in the remaining part, we will uh, see how you can uh, have a similar setup. Remove the configuration from Team Services and now uh, let's recreate a setup which we had before. So the, uh, on the PDF, I showed you that we need basically two things a build and a release and that's what we will do now so let's start with the build and for ASP.NET Core this is actually really easy um, we just defined a new build for ASP.NET Core apply and we have to select the uh, build agent this is important um, the uh, Visual Studio 2017 is able to build that. I had problems with this Linux preview build. Theoretically, that should work, but it right now it didn't work for me. 
uh, and the hosted I guess that's an older Visual Studio version and I tried that uh, a few months ago and that also did not work so I highly su suggest you to use the um, Visual Studio 2017 um, that's one change and that's basically uh, already uh, done I have one small change uh, since I have multiple um, projects in my solution and I just want to build uh, one and this is the block site uh, solution so I um, also change that uh, both for the restore and for the build yeah this is a bug I have to go back to change that um, and that's it we basically have a, a build for an asp.net core application so as you see it basically does a restore a build it runs all the tests it does a publish and then it will uh, have an artifact which is basically a zip file with the art with the application this is as you see this is defined here there is one uh, important thing which you also can uh, set up here this is the triggers uh, what I uh, like to have is that uh, once uh, once uh, I commit to the master, then it will basically trigger a build. Uh, so that's it. Now we have a build, and let's move on to the second part to the to the release. let's move on to the release definition for that let's go into releases and then click new definition now if you work with Azure then you can basically select one of your scenarios here and uh, that is basically prepared um, but in in some cases for example in my case I have a Linux machine which is running not in Azure and for these like I would say special cases there is this empty uh, template and that way you can build your own uh, release steps so that's why I basically choose empty um, I just call this uh, prod Linux deployment and now I can define my tasks so what I need are basically two things. Uh, I need the SSH keys and I have one bash script which I want, want to start. So, um, so the first focus on the SSH uh, uh, keys. There is one um, task for that. This is um, in the preview stage. And unfortunately, this didn't work for me. Um, maybe I did something wrong, but uh, this is really new. This was introduced like, I, I guess, a few weeks ago. So this is not what we use. Um, what we use is a, an other thing called decrypt file. Uh, this is a very cool feature. You can basically check in files encrypt that with uh, OpenSSL and with this task you can basically decrypt these files. So what I have is uh, I have a folder uh, within my git repository where I have my encrypted, this is very important, my encrypted private SSH keys. So no one can read that without the password and um, with this decrypt uh, task here I can uh, basically decrypt these files and use them as um, SSH keys and once the deployment is done then uh, the, the decrypted files are uh, removed so this is uh, secure the other thing which which I have in my uh, deployment folder again this is in the git repository this is basically a deployment script and we will take a look at that later so let's uh, set up the uh, uh, decryption of the SSH keys so I want to call that um, like this um, I obviously have to tell where the encrypted file is I obviously have to have a password for that 
and this is defined in a uh, save variable here under variables you can define such things and um, of course I have to have a name for it and I save that now uh, my setup is a uh, really special I need two SSH keys because the deployment machine itself is uh, not exposed to the internet I have a proxy so what what we define now was uh, the SSH key for for the proxy and we need uh, another one which is uh, really for the deployment machine so let's also set up um, that one very quickly um, we need the encrypted file uh, the password is the same and the pass is that okay so with that uh, when when a build is triggered then these two uh, tasks will run and with that we will have um, ssh keys now the the last part i showed you in my repository that i have a deployment script and the deployment script is basically a bash script and here we have it um, it basically uh, first sets the permissions for the ssh uh, keys and then it, it will copy the file the zip file which is the application itself from the artifacts directory to the target machine and then it will basically run some ssh commands uh, as you see first it will unzip the file then it will remove the old version then it will re uh, copy the new version to the to the uh, folder where the application is uh, started and then it will restart uh, the supervisor which makes sure that the application is always running then it will just remove the zip file and the folder where the zip file was uh, unzipped uh, so we just want to start this uh, so for that we have a shell script um, task it's important that this has to be the last one the last one i said the last one yes so I like to I would like to call this um, like that and we need to define the uh, path to the script which is this so as you see it's it's uh, uh, committed under the deployment uh, folder and basically that was it so this is the um, deployment setup uh, one uh, thing is this um, SSH key this can be different for you obviously um, and this uh, decrypt task decrypt file uh, task is uh, like a temporary workaround I hope that this um, SSH install SSH key task will work in the future right now it's, it, it doesn't work unfortunately or I did something wrong uh, but uh, this this setup works definitely um, and we are done so with that you can have a completely automatic deployment for a Linux machine with ASP.NET Core and the cool thing about that is that for a small application like for example for my blog it's basically free so you can start free and when your application grows bigger then obviously you have to pay but at the beginning for a small small project this is I guess a uh, very good solution. Thanks for watching.